So I want to have a discussion about the demon realm in Dragon Ball and really hammer down what it actually is and clear up some confusions I've seen in the fandom about the demon realm and its history. Mr. Satan wants you to subscribe to Geek 101 on all these social media platforms. You jump? Oh yeah! To me, the Demon Realm is one of the most interesting aspects that Toriyama created for Dragon Ball. And it's a shame that the actual anime really doesn't focus too much on the Demon Realm. Because in the video game world, Dragon Ball Heroes and Dragon Ball Online, there's tons of storylines revolving around the Demon Realm. But I want to give you kind of the 411 on what the Demon Realm is. So, the Demon Realm in Japanese is Makai, otherwise known as the Demon World. But you can also say Akumakai or Ankokumakai, the Demon Realm of Darkness. And the thing about the Demon Realm is that the big confusion is that a lot of folks think that the demon realm is hell. And the demon realm is not hell at all. They are two completely different things. The bulk of the information in this video is coming directly from Daizenshu 7 where it states that hell is, quote, a chaotic place where magic has more influence than science. So that sounds like something out of Thor or something. Well, anyways, the thing about the demon realm that I find interesting is that the demon realm is pretty much the lower half of what is considered the regular universe so it's not explicitly said how this actually works but the best way i've figured to picture it is imagine a double-sided snow globe where on the top of the snow globe you have the regular world of the living where you have things like the planets and stars and the sun and the solar systems and heaven and whatnot even the other world is there and then on the other side exists the demon realm so even though the Earth is not flat in Dragon Ball, you could say that the universe kind of is because it has another side to it, so to speak, in a strange dimensional kind of way. But it overall is going to end up being round because it's two sides of a globe. And I always found it interesting because in the demon realm, not even the gods, the Kais, know too much about it because their eyes cannot reach it, which I think is very interesting. I remember in Xenoverse 2, Supreme Kai of Time states that the demon realm is at the ends of the universe so there has to be some way to access it and it's implied based on some anime only Dragon Ball stuff that there might be several different ways to access the demon realm specifically in Dragon Ball in the episode known as Goku goes to the demon realm there's a portal somewhere on earth that takes you to the demon realm at least we know there's one there but it's difficult to say as to whether or not the demon world in Dragon Ball is the same one that Toriyama would come up with years later it could be an early idea that he had that he later changed or retconned but that's an anime only thing that wound up actually becoming an actual manga thing so I find that interesting as well I just wonder if the concept was the same if you know what I mean what we do know about the demon realm is that it is home to a number of very malicious entities and there are records of life forms from the demon realm causing problems with the mortal world. We do know that in the prime Dragon Ball universe, it is divided up into four different quadrants. The demon realm is also divided, but there's no clear indication as to how many sections it's divided into, but we do know without question that the entire demon realm at one time was ruled by Dabura, and that was of course revealed in the Boo arc. Obviously, Bobbidi has access to the demon realm, Probably something that he learned from his father, Bibbidi, because it was implied that Bobbidi's father really knew a lot about dark magic and some of the darker aspects of the universe, hence his, you know, conjuring of Majin Buu, but that's a video for another day. Now, it is confirmed by the Supreme Kai that Dabura is the strongest person in the demon realm, which at the time was a pretty big thing. Remember, Dabura's first appearance in Dragon Ball, he was on the level of Cell, which is the last main villain they had just got done fighting. So, at the time, that was pretty damn strong. One thing that is not confirmed is what happened after Babidi took Dabura out of the demon realm did somebody else take over we know that he's been working for Bobbity for 300 years so what happened during that time also when I say that Dabur is the strongest in the demon realm I'm talking about strictly from a mortal perspective because the demon realm appears to have its own set of gods which 
I will cover in a later video. We're talking about the Makayo Shin, so look forward to that very soon on the channel. You have to think of the demon realm as sort of the opposite, the negative of the, I guess you can say the world above. And we've never actually seen the demon realm in the anime or in the manga, but during the fight with Dabura and Gohan, Babidi asked Dabura what he would like the terrain to look like, the fighting arena, and he said, you know, make it look like the demon realm. So that is a glimpse of what the demon realm looks like. And later on in the same arc, we are told from King Yemma that hell and the demon realm are very, very similar, which is why King Yemma sent Deborah to heaven to punish him because hell would be too much like his home world. Now the Dragon Ball video game universe, that is to say the world created for Dragon Ball Online, Dragon Ball Heroes, and Dragon Ball Xenoverse, those series of games have really added a lot of extra lore to the Demon Realm that didn't originally exist and isn't part of the main continuity. And not just the fact that they created the character of Toa as being Dabura's sister, but also recently introduced a new villain, Mechi Kabuda, who is supposed to be an ancient sorcerer from the Demon Realm who is frighteningly powerful. The video games also gave us a tremendous amount of information that we didn't have previously about the creation of the Demon Realm, including some new lore. The Demon Realm was said to have been created by a huge plethora of evil wizards in a space where they were imprisoned, and Demigra, the boss of Xenoverse 1 and a few other Dragon Ball Heroes games, is said to be one of the wizards involved in this creation. Demigra is considered a god in the demon realm, but does that mean he is a Makayo Shin? That's never actually been stated, but many believe he is. But the plot of the video games always will be surrounding the demon realm. Toa's entire goal in these games is that she wants the demon realm to become one with the rest of the universe, the upper realm, to create what she calls the garden of evil blooming with rage and pain. Man, does she need to chill out. The best way to look at the demon realm is that hell is at the bottom of the other world, of the world of the dead, heaven, or whatever you want to call it. There's heaven, then there's hell, but the demon realm exists at the bottom of the living universe. I think that's the best way to describe the demon realm, and I think it's the easiest way to kind of digest what it is. It is a physical location, but it's one that cannot be accessed very readily within the known universe. Now, we know that the demon realm was sealed away many, many years ago. We don't know who it was that sealed it away, but we know that one of the major storylines in Dragon Ball Heroes is Toa and the Time Breakers trying to crack open the realm and bring it into the world of the living. And it also has its own kind of key. We know what energy is and key and Genki and God key, but the demon realm has a different kind of dark energy, dark mechanics high energy which is how Toa is able to do all the things she can do by utilizing this evil energy. We also find out from the video games that the fruit from the tree of godly might which is supposed to only be eaten by gods and not mortals can amplify the dark Makai energy and make a character incredibly stronger than they ever have been. But of course there is some semblance of corruption as well. They also become more evil. So there you go. Now some of the video games outside of online heroes and Xenoverse create their own like wacky storylines about the demon realm that really don't make any sense. For example, if you remember Dragon Ball Z Boo's Fury, that old Game Boy game, a good game though, they say on there that Janemba was once a crime boss in the demon realm. That's just wacky stuff they added for the game that really contradicts the entire character of Janemba. So remember to use some critical thinking when reading up on the demon realm because there's always some weird stuff out there depending on what sources you go to. It's a shame that Dragon Ball Super as of right now still hasn't really touched on the demon realm, but that's okay because the video games do touch on it quite a bit. Unfortunately, as of right now, outside of Japan, you can't really play Dragon Ball Heroes, and thus you won't ever get the full grasp of the storyline in the game. But what Dragon Ball Super did do is introduce us to the 12 universes, and of course that begs the question, do each of the 12 universes have their own demon realm? Or is it something that's just part of Universe 7? That is a question we may never get answered, but I do hope that at some point in the future, Dragon Ball Super does explore the demon realm. Thank you for watching this video. If you are new to Geekdom 101, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get all my videos 
right to your device when I upload them and join the Geek Army. I want to thank you once again for watching the video and I hope that after watching it you were entertained and maybe even educated about some of the lore within Dragon Ball. If you want me to cover more Demon Realm stuff and go into some of the characters and some of the Dragon Ball Hero stuff, please leave a comment and let me know and I'll produce those videos for you. Thanks and I hope you have a great day.